Hey guys, today we get to talk about the exciting topic of masterpieces, which are the inven inventions, the expeditions, and the new invocations. Now, they are trending up, not the Amaket ones, although they have been moving, and not the Hour of Devastation ones, which I feel will fall, given that the set is not even out yet and it's just pre-order hype at this point in time. But the inventions from Kaladas and A for Revolt, and the expeditions from Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gatewatch. Now, one of the interesting things about invocations and inventions in general, as well as expeditions, we won't see any in the next set. And I think that's the critical point. They were meant to be mythics of mythics, right? Instead of, I guess the best example I have of this is another game I play, which is Weiss, and they have these fake autograph cards. And they come once, like every few boxes, and they're extremely, extremely wanted, although I don't really know why. That's what this game has produced, a lottery of lotteries. It's not just enough to win the lottery and get a masterpiece. You have to win the lottery and get the correct masterpiece. So the masterpieces themselves are a mini lottery. Now you might ask, what, where do I see the prices? I see them higher than they are today. So if there is a certain masterpiece you have your eyes on, especially if they are older, uh, such as the Expedition Lands, I would start, if there was multiple masterpieces, I would start with the Expeditions and buy what I wanted then. I don't, my gut feeling is that demand will be very high in the future if they are not reprinting them like crazy or doing new masterpieces like crazy. And we know that the next coming sets will not have masterpieces, so it will be extremely intriguing to see what the base set will be. I'm guessing the cards in the base set will be much stronger because they have to offset the loss of value. Quote, unquote, loss of value, because the expected value actually isn't that great because you're not expecting that many masterpieces to begin with. What I've noticed is the inventions have been done pretty good. The cheaper masterpieces are on the move. You can still get Divert for $20, and I think Smoldering Mars is still $20. After rotation, the Battlelands from the Battle for Zendikar masterpieces should go down a tad bit. But lands are lands. And foil, full art versions of lands are just that. They're beautiful, and there will always be demand for an EDH. So I would start with the Expeditions pick up whatever lands I needed for EDH's and then move on from there to the inventions uh, before dabbling in the invocations. Time will tell if the masterpieces will actually be as valuable as first portrayed. When they first came out, it was like hotcakes, right? Everyone wanted the cinnamon bun. And then they realized, wow, there's like a lot of cinnamon buns and this store can produce many, many cinnamon buns and they're just different flavors and stuff. So people were less, cinnamon buns were less appealing because there wasn't the line to go out, to go get the cinnamon bun. Because they were, they were not, I mean, the percentage of the probability of you getting a masterpiece hasn't really changed, but the fact that there's just more masterpieces makes them not as desired. I, my best guess is they will hold a lot of value in the future, especially the lands and the artifacts, just because of EDH. EDH is all about lands, it's all about being unique, and as we move on and less product is open of these sets, it will give you the opportunity to be unique. So much of Battle for Zendikar all the, all the way up to Amaket was open compared to something like original Zendikar, that the masterpieces just didn't seem special anymore today. But if there's anything I know about Magic the Gathering prices, what changes today or what, what is stable today, what is certain today will can change tomorrow. And I do see the masterpieces as a very solid hold 
And if you can trade into them, trade into them. Because everything is going to tank. And that's why I love them. Uh, I love them especially to trade in for right now. If you can trade standard cards into them, that's what you need to do. Now, not every trade partner is going to be that dumb, right? But some somebody will do it um, because maybe they just want the Gideons for the last few weeks and they're willing to do it. Overall, uh, when I look at the masterpieces and I look at their EDH playability as well as the strength of the individual cards and the overall set, assuming they do not print masterpieces in a good long time, which could be true, these will go up in price. It's wholly dependent on whether or not we know that Exelon and Return to Exelon or what is it, Battle for Exelon or oh, Rivals of Exelon, right? That's the next set. We know that's not going to have masterpieces in them. And they look relatively weak uh, from what I've seen of Exelon. It's not something like I'm like, oh, great, Tomogorf is in the set. Or great, there's a card that will dominate modern. It looks eh, kind of meh, and we have seen all the rares and mythics, so unless there's something hidden in the com uncommons or commons, I, we don't really get any good commons anymore. But it's not possible, right? It's not feasible. So when I look at the prices, and we'll go and go over prices, I like Misty. I, like, uh, I don't like Catacombs because I think you can fall out of favor. It is the most popular land right now because of Death Shadow, but it can fall out of favor. I do like Wasteland a lot. Um, the Wasteland is very beautiful. I do own a playset of those. Uh, the Shocklands, I like them because they, they're just beautiful. The Expeditions are beautiful cards in my opinion. And they're something that uh, the Amaket version, the Inventions were good too. But if I had to rank them in terms of desirability, I would say lands, artifacts, then everything else. Because everything else has is not as needed as lands or artifacts. So at the lower end, you can see the Titanic Eds, the Core Haven, the Graven Caverns, Dust Bowl, Forbidden. All of these are very good, and I, I like the lower end ones especially because my gut feeling is that if there was a percentage move, it's not going to happen at the upper end fetch lands. It might happen in the shock lands, but likely it will happen at the lower end. Here we are going to see the Invocations, uh, Force of Will still being the top one, but you have a ton of ability to move. I mean, Boil, Chain Lightning, Forbid, Warship, Counterbalance, Desolation Angel, which has gone up significantly as a percentage. And over Stifle is here. Loyal Retainers used to be so pricey. Was it Loyal Retainers or was it the other one? I'm trying to figure out the one in red. So it's not Loyal Retainers. It's actually the other one in red. Imperial Recruiter actually is the one I'm thinking of. Choke. Okatrod the True for your EDHs. I think the lower ones are not going to remain at $20. Just given how hard it is to open any Masterpiece. So like a Masterpiece, you're hoping one in every two boxes. Right? That would be good. Because you're hoping two to three in every case. Uh, so one in every two point, I think 2.25 or some number above two, but below three. These are going to be hard to get. Uh, so ring is over 200, uh, mana crypt at 195, mox opal 179, chalice at 175. That one has been going up a lot. And at the lower end, you have defense grid, static orb, sundering titan, meek stone, Sculpting Steel, which used to be an ED8 staple. It was so good, um, but now a lot of decks are not playing it. Not exactly sure why. Extra Planar Lens, which actually will probably go over that card price a little later today. All these swords, beautiful swords. Uh, warm Coil Engine. Like these are not the. These are good cards for your EDH deck, and eventually when they come lower and lower supply, because we time, just enough time has passed, I think these are good holds. Would I invest money and hope to make a return above the stock market? No. But would I trade into these? Yes. Would I hold them? Yes. Would I, if I was going to use the card in my deck, I would buy it now. 
because I don't, I don't think, especially at the lower end, we're going to get much cheaper than this. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree. Um, yep. Bye, guys.